Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to upgrade your Napcomer site to version 4.0. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.90 database that will be upgraded to 4.0. So in this example, we will be upgrading a local instance of Napcomer site to 4.0 version, which is installed on a Windows machine. We will be using Visual Studio 2017 to run the Napcomer site. So, here is an example of Napcomer site um, that is based on 3.90 version. So if I go to the administration section, right here, if I go in systems, system information, you can see I have a site running uh, which is based on 3.90 version. And I'm using a Visual Studio 2015 to run this 3.90 version. And if I go to the file explorer you can see here I have the settings file and install file um, there and it's using if I simply go to the Visual Studio you can see here I have the database name 3.3924.0 db and I have the server name here I have the SQL server right here open on my machine and you can see the, all the tables for 3.9 version so this site is basically running out of the box at 3.90 version. So upgrading the version of your Napcomer site is quite simple. First and foremost, in order to upgrade to 4.0 version, you need to install the .NET Core SDK. In order to do that, you can simply go to just Google and type Microsoft or SDK and it'll take you to Microsoft.com net download if you go to this site this will give you information about the .NET Core SDK all you have to do is install this SDK on your machine depending on your version if you're using 64 or 86 or along with that install the runtime uh, file as well so on my machine I have installed these two things before running or upgrading to 4.0 version so once you have installed this on your machine you are ready to upgrade to knob commerce 4.0 version so what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to close this 3.90 site as we don't need it all we need is database for this i'm going to close this okay all right so First thing, you need to get the latest Knobcommerce package from GitHub. You can either go simply go to Knobcommerce site download and you can install or download the source code version or web version, which is no source code version, or you can simply go to the GitHub page, uh, which you'll see right here. And if you go to releases in release 4.0, you can simply download the source code or no source code version. Along with that, you will need the upgrade script file as well. So I have downloaded the 4.0 version already, the package, and I've unzipped everything. And this is the source code version because I'm using the Visual Studio. You don't have to use source code. If you are upgrading the site on your server directly, you don't need source code. You can simply download the no source code version from the GitHub site. And along with that, I've also downloaded the upgrade script which is a SQL script you just need SQL server in order to run the script against your current 3.90 database so second point in upgrading your site is basically making sure that you have a complete backup of your website including the database and web files this is extremely important so that if anything goes wrong during the upgrade process you can always restore the all older 3.90 database and the web file so you make sure you have a copy of everything before doing anything in terms of upgrading your site second after this thing the um, third thing to keep in mind is that you have to upgrade stepwise this means that you cannot jump for an instance um, for example if you have a not commerce site based on 3.50 version you cannot jump directly to 4.0 version 
you will have to upgrade step by step which means 3.50 to 3.60 then from 3.6 you have to go to 3.7 version and so on so you have to go one step ahead basically so in this example we will be upgrading from 3.90 version to 4.0 version and fourth thing to make sure is that make sure you have the target settings file and install plugins file in 3.90 version you can find these two files right here installed plugins and settings install plugins basically it's a list of plugins that you already have on your knobcommerce 3.90 site and setting is basically a connection string that uh, is uh, that has the information about your database and sql server with username and password um, the uh, one thing that is different in 4.0 version versus 3.90 version is that the format of these two files has been changed until 3.9 version these files are simply a text file but in 4.0 version these files are basically a dot a file with the format with dot json so in 4.0 version i'm simply going to go in dot web and app underscore data same location um, but i don't have these files as of now because this is a um, fresh installation and i have not installed anything in my 4.0 uh, version and it's because we will be upgrading from 3.0 version so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in Visual Studio. Okay. So now that we have the project open in Visual Studio 2017, again, once again, you I just want to keep uh, reminding you that you need the core SDK in order to install an AppCommerce 4.0. So please go to Microsoft site, install the core SDK on your machine and the runtime file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in presentation, knob.web, and I'm going to go in the app underscore data folder. Okay. So here I'm simply going to create a file right here is just JSON and I'm going to name it as data settings I'm going to add it and just like that I'm going to add another file which will be again the our JSON file and I'm going to name it as install plugins.json and I'm going to add it right here. So when I go to file explorer app data I have these two files. As of now if I simply open these files um, these should be empty because I have not added any data to it. right here I can show you these are basically empty well until 3.90 version for an app commerce we can we could have simply copied these two files and pasted in the same location because the format has been changed in knob commerce 4.0 version because of um, ASP.NET Core which is why we cannot copy these files and paste it as is we have to create JSON file to um, pass that information but we will be using the same content though so in data settings I basically need the exact same information that I I have here which is my connection string which with my SQL server name and my database name along with the username and password so I'm going to use the exact same information, just in a little bit different format. So for you, I have already created a format to make it easier. Right here. 
So this is the format. You, you can see I'll open it side by side so you can take a look at it. Okay. So you can see here I have data provider, SQL server, data connection string. Pretty much everything is same. The only thing is little formatting is a little different. I have these here while I, I don't have anything here. I have everything in inverted commas. I don't have here. That, that's pretty much it. So the formatting is a little different. Um, so you can simply use this file in which you can put your database name here. I'm sorry, database name here, your server name goes here, your SQL server username, and your SQL server password. So I'm going to save this right here, and I'm going to go separately here, and I'm going to add my credentials here. I'm not going to show that in the screen, so it's because it's a password information, so I'm simply going to add that information in the back end, background basically. Okay. Okay. So I have added that information. So if I open this, you can see I have my SQL server name. I have my database, which is the initial catalog and this is the same database that my 3.90 website is using. Okay, now let's come talk about the installed plugins file. We basically need all these plugins in 4.0. Uh, if you have any custom plugins, if you're using any third party renders plugin, please make sure and communicate with them and make sure that they have a plugin available for 4.0 version. And once you have that plugin, simply go to knob.web and make sure you put your plugin files right here in this location. In this example, since this is a default out of the box installation, I'm not using any custom plugins, so we won't be dealing with any anything like that. And I'm, go I'm going to use all the plugin that comes out of the box with Knob Commerce. One thing to keep in mind is that some plugins in 3.90 were removed in 4.0 version because Knob Commerce team decided that they will be delivered it from the marketplace rather than making those plugins available out of the box. So for an instance, if I open this file, there's a plugin called discount requirements has one product. So this plugin is not available in 4.0 because if I go in 4.0 version, you can see this plugin is not available. This is missing. So you don't have to worry about it. You can simply go to marketplace and search for as one product and here's that plugin. It's available for 4.0 from 4.0 version onwards, Knob Commerce team decided that they will be uh, uh, making some plugins available from the marketplace rather than making it available in the project itself. So you can simply download it from here. And there are few more plugins that are not available out of the box in 4.0 version. So I won't be migrating those files or plugins in 4.0 version. So I have a copy of a list of plugins that are available in 4.0 based on this list. So I'm simply going to go in my install plugins.json file and I'm going to add this. So you can see here that everything is pretty much the same. Um, I just don't have these plugins that are not available in 4.0 version. In your case, if you would like to if you're using that on your website, you can simply go to Marketplace, download it, make sure you um, put the plugin file right here in the plugin folder, and you can simply mention the name right here, just like how you had in the installed plugin files in 3.90 version. So you can see that list is pretty much looks the same, it's just the formatting is different. Everything is 
inward commas with the comma here. So that's pretty much the formatting of the file is different. But everything else is the same. So I have saved it. So now this means that we have moved the the uh, these two files to 4.0 right now. We have the connection string, we have the install plugin information here. Now all we have to do is upgrade the database for NavCommerce in order to go from 3.90 to 4.0 version. Okay. So now we will look into the upgrade script. You can simply download the up upgrade script from the GitHub. It's available right here. You can simply download the zip file and unzip it and you will get these two files. Readme file is basically tells you that you have to make a backup and make sure you have everything um, move in terms of settings and install plugins. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Another thing to keep in mind that if you have stored your pictures in a file system, if you're um, migrating from 3.9 to 4.0 on your server, make sure you have you back up these um, images in this location and copy them right after the upgrade again. Okay, so I'm going to open this upgrade SQL file and I'm going to run this upgrade SQL script that is provided by NopCommerce team and simply run it on my 3.9 database. That's all I have to do. I'm going to execute it. And the query executed successfully, which is good. Okay. Now our database has been updated already to 4.0. All we have to do is run the project. Okay. So if everything went well, our, we should be able to run the NopCommerce site without any issue. It may take some time depending on your machine. Okay. Okay. So as we can see, our site is running. So now if I log in, this was remember this was a fresh fresh installation. So I did not install 4.0 version. We upgraded from 3.90 to 4.0, and now. Some warning messages. It basically just talking about the um, URL, which is fine. It's just a local machine. But as you can see here, NopCon version is 4.0. So we are running 4.0 version now. Make sure your site is running fine. Make sure you test everything, each and everything. Uh, on your public site. Make sure you go through all the product pages, make sure everything is there, you're not missing any information or plugins in if you have any custom plugins. And this is how we upgrade an AppCommerce site from 3.90 to 4.0. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by AppCommerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.